What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a newborn's must have. I'm going to go through a couple of things that I knew that I couldn't live without on a daily basis with my newborn. These are all the things that you are going to need from zero to four months. Basically all the really important things that you cannot live without. If you are new here, I am a first time mom of a beautiful baby boy named Mason. Today I'm sharing with you what I actually used and what I think would benefit you guys to add onto your registry. Before you head out, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It means a lot to me and helps my channel grow and I am super excited. So let's get started with sleep. The first product that I recommend is the pacifiers. My son absolutely loved these and these were our favorite. My son took this the very first time that he popped out of the womb. He instantly latched onto this and it comforted him very much so. So I would say we cannot live without these pacifiers. He uses them when he goes to sleep, when he's riding in the car. Just almost about all the time during the day, he sleeps about four times. He takes a nap about four times, so he does use this a lot. Next on the sleeping items, the Hatch Baby Sound Machine. This has saved our life many times. I do have two dogs, so anytime someone would come by, walk their dog, drop the mail off, drop a package off, my dogs would bark. But if I had this on, Mason would not hear anything and he would sleep like a baby. I really like how it comes with an app or you just download the app that when you get it and you will be able to control it from your phone. So you can set it to timers so it turns off during a certain time of the night. You can turn on a night light for it before you're about to walk into your baby's room and change his diaper or even if you want to change the sound because it's not loud enough or baby doesn't like it. So that was one of the things that I really did like and something that I know that I could not live without. That Hatch Baby was a lifesaver for us. Okay, the next thing is the sleep sack. I will go ahead and post it down below. This is something that my son could absolutely not sleep without. The swaddles were useless for us because my son moved so much that he got out of every single one of those and they did not help us. I felt that I was waking up most of the night just to swaddle him back until I found the Merlin sleep sack. This is something that I did purchase when he was around one month old. So I didn't use it when he was fresh out of the womb because I was a little afraid because it's thicker, but I ended up finding out that it was safe for baby and he really actually benefited from it because he loved it and he was able to sleep through the night with the Merlin sleeper, crazy, right? But he did sleep through the night and I will say that is something that very much helped us. So the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is this little thing. I do not know how to say it. It is L-A-N-S-I-N-O-H. I don't know what it's called, but there is other ones like the Haku. Um, it just collects your letdown. When you are a first time mom, I like I didn't know that when I had the baby sucking on one side, the other side was also leaking and I was losing a lot of milk because I wasn't producing that much in the very beginning. So I realized that this did save me a lot of time when I wanted to just collect the other milk and it was small enough and easy enough to move out of the way so Mason wouldn't kick it. And it literally just suction cups to your nipple. So it suction cups just like this and it's very beneficial because it helped a lot. Okay, next I will tell you guys about the bags. So when you are breastfeeding, you are going to need to store your milk somewhere and the bags were nice because I was able to freeze them. I was able to just put them in the fridge for later. It has the time and the date and it shows you how much you produced. So I really think when you put the ounces on there, it does benefit it because when you do freeze it, sometimes it does move and you never know how much you have. And these worked amazing for us. I was able to store and keep a lot of my milk and these worked perfect. 
Okay, next I will move on to baby hygiene. Number one, infants Tylenol. This is something that I used a lot, not on the daily. It was nice to have around the house when after two months shots rolled around and he was getting a fever and he didn't feel good. So having that infant Tylenol was very helpful and he did sleep most of the nights when he did have the infant Tylenol. And the next one was very beneficial to us was a baby thermometer. This is just the safety first. I was able to put it under his armpit because at that age they are not able to put it in their mouth or I mean they can but my little one was too squirmy for that and I didn't feel like putting it in his butt. So the armpit was the best route for us and it was nice to have these around because like I said after two months shots they might run a fever and it's always nice to just be able to do it yourself instead of going to the hospital and not knowing and if your baby has a fever or not. Okay, the wipes. We're just using the Pampers Sensitive Wipes. These are our favorite. I love how easy they are to open and you just grab out one. They are very simple and they do not have a lot of the bad products in them. It is the number one pediatrician recommended, so I really recommend these. These come in handy. They're very nice. They're fragrance free and my son really did well with them. He never really got a diaper rash and um, I thought these were our best bet. We did try a couple other wipes, but I think the Pampers Sensitive were our favorite. Going along with wipes, a diaper. The Pampers diaper was very beneficial to us. My son didn't really get diaper rashes with these. And my favorite thing about them is that they have the yellow line in the middle. I don't know if you can see it but they have the yellow line and it turns blue when your baby pees. So that is very important when your baby is little and sleeping. And I could just pull down his um, sleep sack and I would just look and say, okay, he didn't pee or it's still yellow, he didn't pee or if it's blue, he did pee and I should change it. So it saved me a couple nights when I didn't wanna wake him up and I didn't know if his diaper was wet or not. So the Pampers, were our favorite and everyone knows it the nose fritta yep you guessed it you stick it up their nose and you suck so this one was a lifesaver they send you home with this little ball sucker i don't know if you y'all have ever seen it but they send it home with you it's the nice free one it doesn't work unless you have boogies right in the, the tip of your nose it didn't help us very much and I still felt that my son was very congested and I needed something else to do and the nose for this saved us. So the boogers don't go all the way up. There is a filter at the top that will stop all the boogies and get everything out. So this was a lifesaver for us. I will say if you're going to baby shower, this is the number one product that I would buy for first time moms. Was the best thing that helped us. It helped with congestion, it helped him sleep at night. I would, you know, obviously he didn't like it, but this was something that I really used and that I would spend my money on again if I needed to use it. Okay, so the nipple shield, this I do not have because I have lost it because it is clear and it is in pretty much invisible so you can never find it. I use this on the daily. Mason had a hard time latching so it was similar to a bottle top and it just kind of looks like a nipple and it helps and it helps the baby latch. So I was able to put it on and Mason instantly latched. I only knew about this because we went to a lactation consultant and they were like, are you using a nipple shield? And I was like, what's a nipple shield? Like had no idea what it was, but it saved me. And I will recommend that first time moms to have one when you're in the hospital because you do not know if baby will latch or not. And it did help me and I wish that I had it when I was in labor. Um, I will 
put a picture down below what they look like. You can find them at your Target or your, your local Walmart. They are pretty inexpensive and they work pretty amazing. And so they have a little hole in the middle so baby can still suck out of it. And it just goes onto your nipple and um, it acts as a bottle top, I guess, or a, a longer nipple because baby has a hard time latching. And so it very much does its job and it is very helpful. So next I will talk about things that I wanted to have on the go when I was traveling with baby. The number one was a diaper bag and you guys will soon realize that you will not carry a purse and a diaper bag. So you're gonna have to turn it all into one. My favorite has been the Itsy Ritzy. It's super cute. I didn't think I was gonna get a decent cute book bag because I was like, I'm having a boy. I can't have a cute one. Like it needs to be gray or something. No, style it however you want. It doesn't matter if you have a pink bag and you have a, if you have a son, it doesn't matter. Um, but I will say I like on the bottom how it's hard and you can stand it up. It has a place where you can put a mat back there for the changing table that comes in handy because when you are shopping on the go, you do not want to lay baby down on a nasty diaper changing table. You do not know where any of those babies have been or you do not know what people use those things for. So the fact that it came with one was very helpful for us. Also, the pockets are nice and it has a lot of storage and it has just these cute little extra stuff on it for mom. And it has the straps to hook on to your stroller. It also has a pacifier section to keep it in there. But like I said earlier, I use the extra little strap just because it was cute and I really liked it and it was easier to find for Mason. Okay, next I, love the ergo baby carrier this thing saved me when i was in the house and i wanted to do stuff i love this one because it's a 360 so i could wear baby on the back on the side in the front mason really did like to lay his head on me so i would you know do some chores around the house and wear this or i would go to the store and wear it it was very helpful and very comfortable for both baby and for me. If you are looking for a pack, I would say the Ergo Baby is very good. You can also find these on Facebook Market, so you do not need to get a new one. I was actually gifted this one at my baby shower and it is probably one of the most useful things that I use out of all of the things that I got. I really liked having Mason close to me and I was able to have both hands and get stuff done. So those are all the things that I had for on the go. It was only two, but I don't think you need much more for on the go. Um, those are the only two things that I really did use every single day. Obviously you can find other things that help you and everyone's video is gonna be different, but those are the things that I really think that a mom should have on their registry or if you're a new mom you do not need to get all the expensive nice things I will say that I did fall into that trap of buying the things that I thought that he needed because I was the first time mom I was like oh these are so cute he's gonna need this no I didn't do that correctly. I wasted a lot of money. I will actually be making a part two of this video talking about the things that I bought but did not use at all. Now I'm telling you about some apps that I really did use after having Mason. And the first one is the Huckleberry. That is something that benefited me. Um, the first night in the hospital, your nurse comes in almost every single hour asking you how much your baby has peed, how much your baby has pooped, how much your baby has ate, what side of the boob did they eat off of, did he take formula, and keeping track of all that on a notebook or a piece of paper is just crazy. There's so much stuff on your table 
that you have your drink, you have all these things that you're already taking care of, you're already sleep deprived, you don't have time to write these things down and remember. So having it on my phone was very nice. I got to just put the left side for 10 minutes or the right side for four minutes and what time he ate. And it was very helpful for us because like I said, you do not have time to write down these things. So the Huckleberry app was very helpful for us. Well, I hope that this video has helped you in some sort of way. If you are building your registry for the first time or if you are expecting again, we all know how intense it is and you need so much. So hopefully you got some items out of this video that you could add to your registry or tell someone to add to their registry. Go ahead and comment down below one of the things that you really needed on your registry or something that you absolutely think you and baby cannot live without. So maybe another mom will see this video and just scroll down and see what she can just add to her registry. I really enjoyed making this video and I hope that you guys got something out of it. I am so thankful for you guys. I will be back next week with another video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.